Ladies and gentlemen, this is in Citicom video. We're going to be taking an early look at the Resident Evil Revelations 2 graphics comparison on the Xbox One versus the PS4. Of course, we will be doing a full graphics comparison over the next day or two, but for now, we're just putting that out so you can hear my early thoughts and opinions regarding the two versions. So, as it turns out, both games are running in full 1080p resolution, which is a good thing, and both titles do run up to 60 frames a second, which is obviously a positive start. Both are using pretty much the same type of anti-aliasing, which is FXAA, which is inferior to that of the PC, but we're going to leave the PC stuff out of it for this particular video. I will say that the anti-aliasing options in the PC version are particularly great, so you'll probably be better if you do decide to buy the PC version to just force either downsampling or MSAA or something similar. But sticking with the consoles for a moment, it is a bit of a curious case because when it comes to the performance at early testing, um, and obviously we will be covering this in more detail in the next few days, but my early testing is that the PS4 has a lower frame rate than Xbox One by quite a considerable margin. In fact, I've actually noticed times where the PS4 version has dipped to mid to low 30 frames a second, while the Xbox One hasn't seemed to do that. It seemed to, it seemed to cling to the high 30s, or even 40s. I'm going to be doing more testing on that uh, over the next few days. Moreover, um, in terms of the visual clarity, because one would expect that the Xbox One version might have, say, oh, I don't know, poorer graphics compared to the PS4, but it doesn't really seem to be the case. If anything, the Xbox One version can look a little nicer at times, which is a bit curious. I want to do more testing while we're outside areas and also for more enemies on screen and try and get more chaos, but my, this is my early testing so far. In terms of responsiveness and the overall beauty of the game, I don't ha really have any major problems with either version. And if you own a PS4 version, you do get the feeling there are going to be some patches. In fact, there are the odd little glitch here and there between all versions. And even the PC version, I've noticed a couple of oddities when it comes to just texture geometry. For example, sometimes you'll get just a little bit of a hint of a white line where things don't quite mash up, or maybe a little white line caused by anti-aliasing and so forth. And some of the textures, to be honest, aren't really what you'd expect for this type of game. You'd expect something a little nicer. This is particularly true on the foliage sections, but as I've mentioned, um, this will be out over the next couple of days. But it's nothing bad. The PS4 version does play quite nicely. And if you're not doing frame rate testing, you will notice the odd area here and there does definitely crash in frame rate. But it's certainly not unplayable or anything like that. It does dip to, as I said, around the 30 FPS mark. So it can feel a little bit of an an oddity it can feel a bit weird going from like high 50s all the way down to like 34 just for example but it's nothing terrible but the xbox one version at the moment out of the two console versions does appear to be slightly better just mostly from the frame rate side of things which is really odd considering um well everything we know about both machines but as i said over the next few days i'll be doing a full article and a much more in-depth analysis but this is just literally sharing some of my initial thoughts and opinions if you've been thinking of picking up the game but with that said hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now